toxic beauty standards can be passed down. So many mothers and daughters are on an unattainable quest for endless youth. When my best friend and I lived together thirteen years ago, our shared bathroom had a handful of products: soap, tanning lotion, deodorant, the toothpaste, potpourri, and maybe occasionally a face cream that one of us found on sale at. World green, no serums, and no toners, no anti-aging products. We never considered we wouldn't be young forever. Our bank accounts were empty, our ponies that were clogged, our mascara <coughs> when the were dry. But we were twenty-two, and we were allowed to be messy. We were allowed to be young. Our generation came of age during the nineties toxic diet culture. Millennials weren't taught to fear aging; we were taught to fear fat.、Uh, butter was our enemy. When we watched Victoria the Secret Angel walk down the runway, we loaded ourselves. Disordered eating may have been a psychiatric issue. But it was also symptomatic of a social problem, and if you had a mother who internalized diet culture and projected it onto her children, the damage could also happen from within the family. Researchers have found <coughs> that mothers who encourage weight loss or food restriction, or even express of dissatisfaction. With their body weight,、uh, may lead to their daughters becoming more likely to have eating-related problems. As my generation grew up and became more conscious of the impact of the diet culture, we began to openly celebrate and encourage body positivity. Many of us became aware of our own body、uh, de demography. Phobia. We began seeing clearly how we were <coughs> manipulated to shrink and hate every part of our bodies.